Hi everyone, my name is Lindy and welcome back to my channel, The Yellow Rose Craft Room. I have some embellishments I want to share with you all this evening. I was sitting in my craft room and I was like, I want to make some Valentine embellishments. So I was looking on Pinterest and I saw this cute idea and I was like, I have that, I have that, ooh, and I have that. Perfect. So what I made are these cute little embellishments. I got everything on here except these little hearts right here from the Dollar Tree. I got these on Wish. I made two of them. I just think they're so stinking cute. You can use these in cards or friend mail or pocket letters or pretty much anything. Anything you can embellish. You could use them on home decor. You could put them on a picture frame. Anything. So I got some baking cups. Here is the bag label. You get a hundred from Dollar Tree and I used these. These are the mini ones and I had these left over a couple years ago but I didn't want to cover up the owl so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. They're just sitting over here. Next thing you're going to need, you're going to need some picks and I got these at the Dollar Tree. These were over where, where the drinks are. You know they're hanging on like the side and they had these and you get a hundred there's red turquoise pink and green in here and I got two packages so I'm only using one for now next thing you're gonna need is some table uh, scatter and you get 60 pieces here's the uh, bag for it and here they are and I got all I got those and these at the Dollar Tree they come with little and big red hearts and little and big pink glitter hearts so we're gonna get I'm gonna show you how you can make these now I just learned how to make these I'm not very good but I just think they turned out so cute so first thing is you're going to need a baking cup you're just gonna take one and these are very thin I mean you can basically see through them they're very very thin so what you're gonna do you're gonna fold it then I just get one Oh, I didn't. I got two. I was like, wait, it's not as thin as I thought. You want to fold it and you just scrunch it in the middle. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And then you're going to pinch it where you scrunched it and then you're just going to pull it out. Now you can make it big. You can make it smaller. You can make whatever you want. Now this is just how I like them. So there's one. You're going to take the other one. Fold it in the center and scrunch. <coughs> Excuse my coughing, I'm battling a cold. And then you're going to take it and pull it out. Okay. So what you're going to do you're going to take a pick and I'm going to do red ones this time. So what you're going to do, you have your two picks. Let's actually, let's go ahead and do this. Cause last time I only made like one at a time. So you're going to fold it again, like literally fold it and scrunch it in the middle. And then bring it out. There we go. So there's one. Fold it again. Scrunch it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just so tired of coffee. That's all I ever do is cough. I actually took today off from work. I had a little fever and I went to the doctor and just, ugh, just a respiratory infection. Okay, so there's that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your picks. And I already have my hot glue going, so you're going to need hot glue for that. So sorry I didn't mention that before. You're going to take your pick and you're going to take your hot glue. And you're just going to put a little glue at the bottom of the baking cup. Just a little. Didn't take very much at all. Then you're gonna get his little twisties out. Cool. And then you're gonna take this and just press it 
in the middle. And you want to be careful not to press it too hard because these will change um, change forms. Sorry. So there's one. That's all the glue sticking to me. You're going to come over here and do this to the second one. So we'll get glue, glue it down. And just stick it in the middle. There we go. Alright. So now, just make sure you have this exactly where you want it. Like I'm still messing with this one a little bit. And what you're going to do, you're going to take some more glue put it on the back of here and then you're going to set it down right on top. Just like so. Oh gosh. Make it a mess. Make it a mess. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, I just burnt myself. Way to go, Wendy. Okay. Start over on this one. So I'm just going to take some glue, put it on the back of here, just a little bit, and then set it right on top. And it's going to look like that. Doesn't really look like much right now, but it will turn out really cute. Now you don't have to do this. You can leave them straight, flat, like they were. I just like the little curve and the dimensions on them. Hmm, let's see. There we go. Just like so. All right, so then I'm going to take some glue on the back of here and put it down just like that. All right, and that's what they're going to look like. All right, so the next thing you want to do is if you don't want to use the table scrabble, scrabble, oh my gosh, table scatter. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got to get a drink. Try to record myself and <laughs> start coughing. Okay. You don't have to use this if you want to use gemstones, if you want to use some other things. This is just something I had on hand. And I just think it's so, so cute. So what you can, I'm going to do, I'm going to take a big, oh, let's do a big pink heart. There's two of them. And then two little red hearts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some glue on the back of this pink heart. Just a little bit. And I'm going to place it right here in the center. Like so. Let that dry. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Just like so. And I just think these are so cute. So then I'm going to take the little glitter heart, a little dab of glue on it, put it on top. Be very careful not to burn yourself. The glue is very, very hot. There we go. Put it down on top. There we go. I just think those are so darling. And with like the little arrows going through, I just think those are so cute. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find my gemstones. 
Now these containers I got at the Dollar Tree and um, most of the stuff in here I got from Wish. So you could use whatever you have on hand or if you have something better, go right ahead. But I'm going to use these little hearts. I don't have very many clear pink ones left. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My husband called. He's going to Home Depot. And, well, actually, he's at Home Depot. He's buying me a shelf and a light. Because the fan light in here, it's very hard for me to see. And I think I'm straining my eyes when I'm crafting. So he's like, I'm going to go do this for you. I was like, thank you, husband. Okay, so I found me two little white gems. I think these are my last two ones I have. I actually have to order some more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some glue on just a little bit of glue on the back of here. And then I'm just going to place it in the middle. Just like so. And press it down. I'm going to do the same thing to this one here. Little glue, not much. You get all these little wispies, these little glue wispies, as I like to call them. And just, oh my gosh. Place this in the middle and press down. And there you have it. There is your embellishments, your Valentine embellishments. These are pretty much for anything, really, but these are so cute. And this is a very cheap, easy DIY. Everything but these little hearts right here came from um, the Dollar Tree. And these were like $2 on Wish. And you got like 75 I think. But I've used a whole bunch of them since then. So, so that includes my video. I hope everybody enjoyed my embellishments. I hope you can find all this stuff at your Dollar Tree. And if you have the Wish app, go online and just type in embellish heart embellishments and I think that's what I chose but I want to say I got these last year in October so I'm assuming they may have them but I don't know um I hope you like I said I hope you can find all this stuff at the Dollar Tree and I hope you can make these just like I could hope everyone has a great evening and have more videos for you coming soon god bless you all